In this video, we're going to do the first half of this problem where we just try to calculate the data uh, that we're being asked for. And in the second part, we'll go to Desmos, um, see what happened to the graph, and then draw a couple conclusions graphically. Meanwhile, you can see that we have a week's worth of snow data. So on the zeroth day, there is uh, one inch of snow on the ground. On the first day, there are two inches of snow on the ground. On the second day, there are four inches of snow on the ground, etc. So that is the data for the function f of t. But then we're being asked to find data and graph the function g of t equals f of t minus 3 plus 2. Now to do this, I'm going to go to the whiteboard and just start calculating things nice and slow. Um, after this, we'll try to do it faster, but at this moment, nice and slow. So for example, let's go to this first spot way up here. You can see the basic data is down here. I just don't know if I need you know, to move that data up 3 or down 3, and we're going to see. Now, what should go in this slot right here? Well, t is minus 3. I'm supposed to take that minus 3 and plug in right here. So what I should get here is f of minus 6 plus 2. Well, I don't have f of minus 6. That would be way off the data that I have. Um, so I can't fill in that spot. Let's go to the next spot when t is minus 2. I take that minus 2, I put it in here. What should happen right here should be f of minus 5 plus 2. I keep saying f of minus 5 and then I write something different. That should be f of minus 5 plus 2. I don't have f of minus 5. That's still way up there. I'm still going to go next. If I take minus 1, I put in minus 1 for t. It should be f of minus 4 plus 2. Um, this is getting boring. I can't do any of these. Um, you'd think I'd be able to fill in this one. If I take in 0 and I plug into f of t minus 3, this should be f of minus 3 plus 2. But we don't have f of minus 3. Um, I can follow this pattern. This should be f of minus 2 plus 2, but I don't have f of minus 2. The spot's empty. This should be f of minus 1 plus 2. I don't have f of minus 1. That spot's empty. The next one, when t is 3, if I take a t equals 3 and I put it right here, I should be getting f of 0 plus 2. Aha! The first thing I can do, right? Um, I know that f of 0 is 1. So what I'm going to get right here, right, is 1 plus 2 and that's 3, where that this one right here came from this one. The next thing is I want to plug in 4. If I take the 4 and I put it right in here, I'm going to get f of minus 1. No, nope, I'm going to get f of 1 plus 2. And we have f of 1. We know that f of 1 is 2. So this is going to be 2 plus 2. And that's 4. Uh, how about the next one? I want to take the 5. I want it to put the 5 up here. That's going to be f of 2 plus 2. Right? So this is f of 2, which is 4 plus 2. And so that's going to give me 6. Can I plug in 6? Well, I take the 6. I put the 6 way up here. That's going to be f of 3 plus 2. And f of 3 is 8. So this is going to be 8 plus 2, that's going to be 10. Um, what about the next one? Um, if I take the 7 and I put the 7 in right in there, I'm going to get f of 4 plus 2. But we have f of 4, that's 5. Like that. And that's going to be 7. Um, there's no spots here. I'm going to worry a little bit if I take 8 and I put 8 up here, I get f of 5 plus 2. And by the way, we know f of 5 is 3, so we're still actually good. Like that. Oh, chat be 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. Where'd my arithmetic skills go? All right, can I keep going? If I take 9, I put 9 in here, I get f of 6 plus 2. Do I have f of 6? I do. That's going to be 2. And that's going to be 4. Um, the last spot I'm thinking I might have is being able to plug 10 in. If I take 10 and I put a 10 right there, I'm going to get f of 7. So whether I have it or not, I know what it's supposed to be. f of 7 is 1.5. 
plus 2, and that's going to be 3.5. By the way, if I try to plug in 11, can I see this down here? Not quite. If I try to plug in 11, I know I'd have to get f of 8 plus 2, but I don't have f of 8, so this is as much of the data actually as I can fill in, and you can actually see where the data came from, right? All of the values I got here came from all of the values right here, right? They all got shifted down according to the table, three spots, and then I took each of these values and added two to get the new values. So um, we can see how to do this. We can see how to actually just make the table work. Um, it takes a while, I think, before we figure out whether that this column is going to get shifted up or down. Um, the plus two part is never a problem. <laughs> um, we just take a value if we have it and add two. If we don't have a value, we can't do anything. So that's the whole thing. We just found the table, and now we're going to go over to Desmos and um, see what happened to the graphs.